another 16 hour flight. Yay. Hey. The boring soon, so whew, a bit long trip. Uh, you know, every time I go to Thailand, I'm always like a zombie because I'm always packing the night before. I don't ever sleep before my flight because I can't sleep. Okay, you know, I'm gonna talk to you guys real fast because um, something a little irked me a little bit. I try to ignore haters as much as I can. I try to not say anything to them. You know, I post it on my social media saying like, all right, I'm spoofing out to Thailand. Just like hard joke, nothing big. Some guys just like comment like, what a waste of money for a YouTuber. What does that even mean? <laughs> it was just a rude comment. And yeah, so uh, when, when you're tired and, and cranky from not sleeping, those little stupid comments kind of like, eh. always the answer would be to just shrug it off and he doesn't know what he's talking about, he doesn't know me. Yeah, of course, yeah, but just the power on of like little micro douchebags here and there, little douchebag comments left and right. Throughout the years, kind of like, eh. for two hours and I'm getting a little bit of cabin fever and uh, yeah I don't normally do this but I feel like I need mental I might get drunk now I don't want to get drunk because I'm gonna get off the plane at 5 in the morning in Thailand but I think I'm gonna have to do it we'll see what happens okay no point wasted they put a lot of gin in a gin and tonic the plane's gonna land in like I don't know 20 minutes my girlfriend's gonna see me. Let's hope she doesn't notice. My question is, why am I so aggressive when I get out of a plane? Basically, time immigration kind of, well, you know, they kind of slow. And so, in my mind, every person I pass is like five minutes shaved off. Sometimes it can be an immigration line time for an hour. Sucks. Oh, got a little bit lucky today because it's 5 a.m. Check up. Okay, young cup. And that's how you do it, folks. Get out in like five minutes. Trying to find my girlfriend now. And uh, <laughs> let's see if she can spot the alcohol in me. <laughs> Shh. Shh. Don't say anything. I'm still a little buzzed. <laughs> Damn, what they put on a gin tonic? I only had like two and a half. There she is. Hashtag coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up you guys? I'm here in Thailand now. I've been like jet lag and just been in bed sleeping on and off for like two days straight. So finally out and got my coronavirus uh, protection mask going on. And honestly, I'm more concerned about the pollution than anything else. The pollution is really bad. Um, this time, this time, I don't know why, but like just the pollution we always like off the charts. So today I'm gonna go out and go for a walk and we're gonna talk about the Go League. I'm gonna give you guys some pointers and what I've been using to win my battles. Right now, I only lost three battles out of 15. I think that's not too bad. In case you don't know about PvP, I'll give you guys just all the answers. You know, I'll let you guys know which Pokemon is good, which moveset is good, and which Pokemon you should give two movesets on. Look right and left, not left and right, because I f***ed that up th this morning. Alrighty, so, Go League, what do you guys think so far? I think it's okay, you know, it's not too bad, it just, it gets kind of, huh? but I guess I'm happy thus far that it hasn't been too redundant as far as like, the same Pokemon being used. I guess my biggest annoyance now is really just using like tanks, Rigid Steel, Deoxys, Defense Form, Skarmory. It's, get, it's a little annoying, but like there's always around it, but that's the only way I lost as far. I haven't got a single shiny during this Luna event. So walking over to Big C, it's just uh, it's a supermarket and there's no point taking a taxi because if I do take a taxi, you can check out the mess right here. It's just all like, it's all just traffic. So you literally just be sitting down in traffic, which is a good way to like hatch eggs and like catch Pokemon. Like no lie, I have not walked 10 kilometers for the goalie, but because there's so many buildings around here, 
uh, my my avatar just like drifts back and forth left and right. So that's probably the most I've walked since I've gotten here. I'm not like in like deep into like downtown. I'm not going into the clubs, so I don't have to worry about you know a lot of people you know getting together and getting sick. So uh, it's, although it is pretty interesting because all the stores sold out of like medical masks and hand sanitizer. Got a little bit of time to talk about what Pokemon I've been using. For one, I've been starting off with the Wish Cash, like every battle. Why? Because Wish Cash only weakness is grass. Wish Cash also has Mud Shot and Mud Bomb, which charges up really fast. So it's a good way to make uh, your opponents use a shield. And it's kind of weird. I've been battling people that either don't know how to battle, period, or they just use tanks and they don't know. I think like the first round was like the only round that I knew that someone knew how to battle. The rest of the time, the tanks. There's always ways around it, but it's a huge guess because Go League is so um, random. There's no theme cups like like the Sith League. So it's like a free fall every time. So that's, you know, that's what I've been using, Wish Cash. All right, the second Pokemon I've been using is Lucario. Why? Because all the people are using tanks. So you encounter at least one tank per like per player. You have Bastodon, a Registeel, you got Zimuril. It has both Shadow Ball and or Spear. Alrighty, let's keep on going. So this one I've been kind of like playing around with. I tried Bastodon and been working out a few times because some people try to use uh, Arteria. So because Bastodon has flame has been helping me out uh, for steel types and the flying type as well. Noctowl is like a tank bird because it knows wing attack, which is like the best flying attack and it has a uh, sky attack. So, all right, now I gotta go inside and get some uh, cream and, and stuff. <laughs> Three inch chips. That looks good. A massive squid. Lovely. That's really good. With some rice and soy sauce. Oh yeah, bake that for like a few seconds to get it nice and warm. Ooh, that's a lot of fish sauce. All right, got what I need to get. Time to go home. Oh, I'm already tired, sleepy. Jet lag sucks. Hmm. Alright, so let's go down the list of like Pokemon that I normally would use too for PvP just to help you guys out. Popo Pass, or Nose Pass, which one I forgot what it's called. With Spark and Thunderbolt, because if you go against a Zumuel, at least Thunderbolt, you can probably fire off like two Thunderbolts before the Zumuel gets to Hydro Pump. Cresselia, that's pretty hard to like get, to, you have to get it traded to you. Deelix with the Dragon Tail, this is not too bad too. Although I haven't seen anybody use it yet. I like this one right here. This is uh, a Tepic ev uh, Evolved form, but only because it has Ember, uh, it has a uh, Rock Tomb and Flame Charge, but Ember doesn't charge up very, very much. Let's see, of course, the Zumuro. I have a Shiny Zumuro, or a Hydro Pump, and I have a regular uh, Zumuro with Ice Beam. Blaziken with uh, Counter, Blade Kick, and Brave Bird, instead of Blast Burn because I want the flying attack to like, you know, hit up Altaria and stuff like that. But any kind of bug type as well. Let's see, Charizard is always a fan favorite. Let's see, Alola Marowak is good too because it's a tank. It can take a lot of punch. Uh, and plus that fight spin too. It has a lot of good coverage. It has a, the ground type attack and a ghost type. So Big Earth is really good because it has counter, body slam, bulldoze. It covers a lot of different type of Pokemon, especially when people are using tanks. And Body Slam just charges up really fast, so you're better to make your opponent like use a shield no matter what. Let's see, what else is down the line? Skarmory, of course, is like really good because Skarmory's only weakness is electric and fire. But if you're going against a tank like a Registeel or like a Steelix or a Bastion, you're going to be in trouble because it's not going to do much damage because you're most likely going to have only air attacks with it. Because it's not really used for like metal attacks. Let's see what else? Oh, uh, Gyarados with Dragon Breath, Crunch and Twister. So, Dragon Breath is just a broken move right in game. It hits really fast, it charges really fast, and Twister 
And the best part is if it goes against like another dragon type, like an Alteria, most likely, uh, you know, it's not gonna take super effective damage, but it will do super effective damage against the Alteria. Water type tends to be like the dominant type of Pokemon on here. So having like a good grass type will help you out a lot. I haven't used it too much, but it has saved me a few times, especially when someone uses a Wish Cash. Alteria is a safe bet, but there's, there's so many counters for Alteria nowadays, it's like, it's kind of tough to use it, you know? Tropius is really good, but I wish I had a better one. I'm thinking about putting enough candy for it to like get a second charge move, but eh, I don't know. I hate to like put a second charge move on it and then like I get a better one from somebody else. All right, so just quickly, I just want to close off this video with a few things I forgot to mention. Uh, I really like Alone Sanctuary because it has Powder Snow and Bulldoze with Ice Punch. It does help out a lot with a lot of situations. Wiggly Tough is, is buffy, but it's not going to use the charge move very often. You pretty much use this to like, you know, take down your opponent without any kind of shield. I do like counter with the combination of Mud Bomb because Mud Bomb is just really dangerous to begin with. So having this together is pretty nice, but just to let you guys know, you're going to need some shield with this. Shogun is also a good replacement for Alteria because Shogun does have a higher defense and it does have Flamethrower too. Um, that's one thing I like about this over Alteria because that's Twister. And and the last Pokemon I want to bring up is some of a fun Pokemon to use because I like Munchalax because it has 212 HP, has Lick, which is going to be surprisingly uh, really good against like someone with the Corsalia. That's Body Slam and Bulldoze. Still going to play around with this a few more times. I'll end this here. Good luck for you guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below. If this video helped you out, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for all things Pokemon Go related tips, tricks, and news. I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, peace out. Oh snap, my baby clicked on the first Gyarados, it became shiny. Is it 100% catch rate? Right? Uh, no it's not. Not because gonna risk it. Even if it was, not gonna risk it. Not gonna risk it for the biscuit. Mm. That's amazing. I know, right? Oops. You don't even have a shiny magic card. I don't. Oh my god, I'm too nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, baby. If you lose it, I'll give you one. Mm. One, two. Yay! I think it's a hundred percent catch rate because that was a horrible throw. No, 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 it's not. It would literally, it would run away. Uh. That's so cool. Yeah. Yay! Check the IV. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ah. Ooh, that's PVP. Really? That's PVP IV right there. Like this is a crap idea. Yeah, if you want HP higher. Ooh, that's a good PvP right here. Nice. <laughs>